Hey guys, today we're gonna to be playing with Shantakai's brand new Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint. I'm very excited for this. I have it in the box right here, and here is a card kind of just talking about the product a little bit. I wanted to create a product that always made you look fresh and healthy, actually packed with ingredients that moisturized, plumped, and soothed. A layer of this and you look rosy, fresh, radiant, just divine dewy skin. And that is a quote from Sylvie Chantecaille, who is the founder of Chantecaille. And let's see, how to use, designed to be applied after skincare, which is good, I have most of my skincare on, to leave the skin blurred and filtered with visible imperfections, softened and fine lines smooth. Yes. Wear all over for a subtle glow or brush onto the high points of the cheeks and across the nose. Mix with your moisturizer or foundation for a touch of rosy radiance. Interesting. Okay, I think today what I'm gonna do, since I haven't used this product before, I'm gonna go ahead and use it all by itself, all over my face, so we can get a good look at it, get a good sense of it. I am working uh, with Shantakai on today's video, so a big thank you to them. They did send this product over to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the box here. I'm really excited. Uh, let's see, ooh, of course, beautiful packaging. We have this very like soft satin finish jar oh my god that's beautiful um and let's see the size of this jar is 1.06 fluid ounces 30 grams 12 month shelf life from when it's open and it's made in the usa all right i'm just gonna go ahead and open this up it has a very slight very fresh kind of rose fragrance and here is what the product looks like inside the jar it looks like it has a pudding yogurt like texture to it and i'm trying to think do i want to put something down first um i was thinking about using the Chantecai primer that's a primer i use very often but i do have some spf down that is the last step to my skincare um i do feel a little parched my skin has just been feeling really really parched since you know since the summertime started i think it's all the air conditioning it's just i feel like it's just constantly blowing on me so i think what i'm going to do is just spray a little bit of the orange flower water from Chantecaille, just to kind of prep my skin even more just to give it a little something just because i'm feeling so parched and dehydrated so i'm just going to let that settle in a little bit here and we're just going to do a light makeup look today one it's summertime <laughs> It's just a light makeup look kind of season, I feel like. And also what I'm thinking is, um, while there's still pretty good light out, I wanna do like a little bit of a, a check-in, maybe in the afternoon. Right now it's, it's like early morning. It is, I don't know where my phone is, but it's about 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, so we're getting a, an early start here. So I'm thinking maybe around two or three. We'll just do like a quick little check-in, see how this is looking in natural light, see how it's worn after whatever that is, maybe like six, seven hours. But anyway, I think that orange flower water has been absorbed. Oh, my skin feels better already. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna go in with this. I'm just gonna grab a little bit. So I'm picking up just that much, kind of like if I was applying moisturizer. I'm just gonna warm it up in my fingers and just blend it in. It has the consistency of like a light moisturizer. I wouldn't call it like a cream. It's not that thick which is really nice because if you're adding it on top of all of your other skincare, you know, it can start to feel a little bit heavy even on my really dry skin. So I like that it's on the lighter side. Ooh, wow. My skin looks really satiny and glowy. It really kind of looks like this jar. It has like a like slightly mattified kind of um, satin finish. Definitely blurring. I hope you guys can see that. It looks really, really gorgeous on the skin. It really did put like a filter on my face. Ooh, it's gorgeous. This is really great if you're into like that no makeup makeup look. This is wonderful because it perfects without pigmentation. You know, it perfects with just like a little bit of blurring. So if you don't feel like committing to like a full face of makeup, this is a really great starting point. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, look at that really gorgeous like satin finish. Wow. And because it has such a light texture, I would say this is gonna be great for oily skin types as well because it's not heavy at all. It almost feels like 
a little watery. Like once you start working it in, it feels a little watery and it just sort of like absorbs really quickly. Um, there's a little bit more information here. Incredibly smooth blurred finish with a radiant glow. I'm definitely gonna agree with that. Boosted with Matrixel, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, 3000 peptide for supreme anti-aging benefits. So there's skincare benefits in this as well. Well, okay, so that is the Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint, which is brand new from Shantikai. Very exciting. So since I am gonna do something light here, I am going to actually hold off on powder. I'm kind of getting into the habit of powdering as my last step and just in areas where I feel like I need it, not just like automatically kind of powdering my entire face. So I'm just gonna hold off on powdering. We'll see, we'll kind of check in at the end of my makeup application, see if I need it. Um, and I think I'm just gonna go straight for a cheek gel I pulled out Vibrant, which is uh, probably the deepest shade, I wanna say, out of all of these cheek gelets. Let me just squeeze out a little so you can see what I'm talking about here. So here's the shade of Vibrant. There's a lot of red to it, where Happy and Is It Lively, the two other shades that I use really often, those are like really pink and peach, a lot lighter. Um, this one has a lot more kind of like bright depth to it. So I'm gonna use the Chantecaille Cheek Brush here. This is like a pinched ferrule brush. I wouldn't call it a flat paddle brush, it's not that flat. There's a little bit of fluff to it. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Vibrant and just brush over the cheeks lightly here. I like picking up the product on, onto the brush and then working it over the brush evenly on the back of my hand also, just so I don't have like a clump of the product on the brush. That way I feel like I get a really nice soft application. And these cheek gelets have such a beautiful kind of like built-in highlighty finish as well. So whenever I use these, I always feel like highlighter is very optional because look at that gorgeous glow. And with a base like this Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint, I feel like I'm not gonna need highlight. I'm just gonna go with this blush here, this cheek gelet, gorgeous. Okay, so that is the cheek gelet in Vibrant. I'm gonna go straight for my brows. I'm gonna use the Chantecaille Full Brow Perfecting Gel and Tint, and I have it in the shade Dark, right? Yes, I have it in the shade Dark. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with this product, but this is what the spoolie looks like. Nice, tidy little spoolie. And I'm just gonna brush it into my brows here. And like all Shantakai products, this has a really nice, soft touch. So it's mistake-proof, I find, this brow product to be mistake-proof. And it has a nice soft hold. You're not gonna end up with like crunchy brows or anything. Okay, and now for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Mermaid Eye Color in Seashell. These are the eyeshadows that come in a pot. And here is Seashell. Let me do a swatch of this so you can see the shade looks like. It's just a really beautiful, subtle, yet shimmery, kind of all over lid color, which is how I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna use it as like a one and done, and I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. It's kind of like the mood that I'm in, and just spread it out all over. It is such a beautiful shade. Just a really light, neutral, kind of like gold shade, not too yellow, not too white, just perfect. And the texture of these, I'm not sure if you can tell, they're not like super moussey or putty-like. They're a little bit drier than that, um, but they do pick up like a cream shadow, as I'm sure you can see here. All right, and for liner, what I'm gonna use is one of the luminescent eye shades. I picked out Elephant because it's a nice, deep, kind of rich brown color, and when I wanna use eyeshadows as liners, um, what I like to do is wet my brush, not all the time, uh, but sometimes, and for this one I definitely do. So I'm gonna use the eyeliner brush from Chantecaille. It's a nice angled, flat, really kind of stiff brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use the orange flower water that I used uh, at the beginning of the video and just spritz my brush a couple of times, kind of fling off any sort of excess moisture, and then I'm just gonna go into the pan here and just kind of like press down to pick up some of this shadow. And I need a little bit of a bigger mirror, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the powder here. And I'm just gonna drag this liner brush, really short strokes, just across my lash line here. 
and I get this really beautiful neat line of the shadow which has this gorgeous like metallic sheen to it I hope you guys can see that but it's so pretty and it's nice and subtle it's not as like sharp as like an eye pencil or anything or like a matte eyeshadow this will give you a softer um, liner look and because I want this eye look to remain relatively soft, I'm just going to use whatever's left over on this brush and just lightly graze it along my lower lash line, just giving a really subtle um, kind of accent there. All right, that is it for eyeshadow eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes, and I'm going to apply one of my all-time favorite mascaras, the Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascara. And that is it for eyes. Ooh, really love this eye look. I love using eyeshadow as eyeliner. As you guys know, I love like metallic liners or liners that have like a little bit of interest, not necessarily a funky color, but like kind of a fun finish. And I feel like it's easy to get that with eyeshadows because eyeshadows come in all these different finishes, but eyeliners don't necessarily, you know, they don't necessarily come in like all these fun different finishes. So using eyeshadow as eyeliner, a very fun option. And then last but not least, I'm gonna throw on the Lip Veil in Tambodi. This is one of my all-time favorite lip products, but it's this really gorgeous nude. And you guys know how much I love the Chantecaille lip product formulas, all of them. They're all so, so comfortable. All right, there is my finished look. I just wanna take a close look at my skin now that you know we've let that uh, face tint kind of settle in. And, well, it looks wonderful. I really, really love how my skin looks really kind of like blurred out and smoothed and filtered, <laughs> just everything, all the wonderful things. But I am wondering if I need to powder a little bit. I think I do. I think I look a little bit shiny like right here, pretty typical, and a little bit shiny right here. So I do have the um, Chantecaille Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. I have the old <laughs> Hummingbird package, but this is part of their regular line now, and they have two shades. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pick some up with their Buff and Blur brush, which I think is the perfect pairing for this product. So I'm just gonna swirl it in, picks up product pretty quickly because this brush is pretty dense. And then I'm just gonna kind of press where I want just a little bit of mattifying. Yeah, I think that's it. Just right here, the tip of my nose, and right here, and right here. That's it. The rest of my face, I'm just loving that like subtle glow that that skin tint is giving me. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like after wearing it for a few hours in natural light. Hey guys, it is actually a little bit later than I thought I would be doing this natural light check-in, uh, but we still have some really good light. The days are still pretty long here, uh, but it's about 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So I've been wearing this, uh, what, since 7 a.m.? Is that what I said? Let's say 8 a.m. That was when I pretty much finished that first part. So uh, what is that? That's eight hours, right? Four, four, yeah, that's eight hours. So this is eight hours later. I am speechless at how beautiful my skin looks and I have no foundation down. This is just that sheer tint and my skin still like feels really great. I feel like it looks really, really smooth. Now, don't forget I did powder like this part the edge of my nose and just right here where I felt like it was just really shiny. But I feel like the rest of my skin, especially my forehead, which tends to get super shiny, is not at all. And I did go out for lunch. So I have been out just in the car and just in the restaurant, but being in the car, it's like, it's hot enough. Anyway, um, I feel like, yeah, my forehead would normally be a lot shinier, but it just looks like that satin matte, like the jar, the actual jar of that sheer tint. Oh, it's Yes. Oh, I love it. I really, really love it. This is really beautiful. I hope you guys are getting a really good look. Again, all I'm using is natural light. There is no studio lighting here. I'm just sitting in front of a giant window. And using a camera, truth be told, is a little bit less forgiving <laughs> than the camera I use when I like sit down and I film. This camera picks up everything, everything, like every little thing. So if my skin's looking good here, I'm like, yes, 
Wow, awesome. Well, I cannot wait to play with this product in terms of the other suggested uses that they had on that card, like mixing it in with other things, mixing it in with foundation. Yeah, just really, like really playing around with this, just adding this to everything because I feel like this is so incredible. Ooh. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and a big thank you to Shanta Kai for sponsoring this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.